This is Coach PDHPE with the core two factors of affecting performance video. You can find more U12 PDHPE videos and other information at www.coachpdhpe.com or on Twitter at CoachPDHPE. This is key idea two, factors affecting performance. And the dot point this video is looking at is anxiety and arousal. There will be three dash points that I'll address which will then hopefully put you in a position to answer the student learn to side of the syllabus. But first, an overview of the dot point, and I'll define the, first, the, key, uh, the key terms anxiety and arousal. Anxiety is a negative emotional state that is brought about by, by a sense of apprehension of a perceived threat, while arousal is your level of excitement and, ready to, and readiness to perform. Anxiety can differ according to the situation and individual. This means that a footballer may experience more anxiety playing in a finals game compared to a regulation weekend game. Anxiety brings feelings of nervousness, fear and even panic in some situations. It is, however, a normal reaction to stress. Arousal is important in sport because it can affect the outcome of the game, either because the athlete's arousal levels are too high or even too low. The sport of archery requires a sense of calm and a very steady hand, so it's essential that the arousal levels are low in the athlete. If the archer's arousal levels are too high, it will affect their performance. So the first dash point, trait and state anxiety. You'll often see these terms referred to as a trait for trait anxiety and a state for state anxiety. A trait anxiety refers to the general level of stress that is a characteristic of an individual's personality. While a state anxiety is the temporary feelings of tension and nervousness related to a specific point in time, often found at the beginning of a game. In a trait anxiety, a person who has an anxious personality is likely to respond to competitive situations with high state anxiety levels. For example, a cricketer may experience higher levels of state anxiety as they walk out to bat and face their first ball in test cricket in front of a large crowd. In some situations, the person ex can experience a form of paralysis and have difficulty executing skills they have performed thousands of times at training, such as playing a defensive shot in cricket. If they do get over these initial nerves, their levels of anxiousness can subside and they can start to make batting look easy again. A bit of nervousness may in fact enhance performance, but sustained anxiety can have negative impact effects such as slowing down reaction times. So how can coaches help their athletes to keep their nerves in check? Coaches should allocate time on mental training. So getting a sports psychologist into training to speak to the players. They should give the, the athletes set routines, such as arriving at the ground at the same time, let players sit at the same spot in the change room, and the warm-up being structured and a familiar pattern to the athlete. A state and A trait can be measured using questionnaires to provide coaches with information on players' personalities and how they will respond in different pre pressure situations found in games. Sources of stress. Stress is a physiological and psychological response that the body makes to demands placed upon it. It is normal to experience stress before sporting events and in pressure situations. If not controlled, it contributes to anxiety and reduced performance and therefore stress is very closely linked to state anxiety. Stress can come from internal or external sources and might or might not be under the direct control of the performer. Internal stress examples can in include that, sorry, internal stress examples include fear of failure, the stress the athlete, sorry, the athlete has control over fear of failure, and injury, which the athlete has little or no control over. External stress examples include sledging from the opposition, hostile crowd, and a relentless media change chasing a story. Athletes can use the following methods to cope with sports related stress. Focusing, concentration, mental rehearsal, breathing and relaxation techniques, developing routines which Rafael Nadal is famous for, such as bouncing the ball a set number of times before he serves 
and fiddling with his clothing. Stress can be classified as either good stress, which is known as eustress, or bad stress, which is known as distress. Most of you have an understanding of what distress is, but eustress is when change, sorry, when stress can be a positive. For example, the stress of a football player needing a new contract results in them playing better football under that pressure. Optimal arousal. I said earlier that arousal is the level of excitement and readiness to perform, while optimal arousal is getting that excitement levels to the right point so that you can perform at your best. This is known as optimal arousal. In this graph we can see uh, sorry, in the graph we can see that as arousal increases, so does performance up to a point. Beyond this point, increased arousal levels result in a drop in performance. The point at the top of the inverted U shape is referred to as optimal arousal. Optimal arousal does not mean maximal arousal as you can see on this graph. Both over arousal and under arousal can contribute to poor performance. Getting arousal levels correct are the key for success in sport. But different sports require different levels of arousal for optimal performance. The athlete in golf requires different levels of arousal to the athlete in weightlifting. The challenge for coaches and athletes is to determine each individual's athlete's optimal arousal levels. Conclusion. Coaches, have an, coaches should have an understanding of their players' anxiety, stress and arousal levels as it will assist the team in preparing for optimal performance. This is not easy at all because having seen that different sports have different arousal levels, so do individuals. Coaches need to closely monitor players and potentially use a variety of, of approaches to get the arousal levels just right for each player. Thank you for listening.